Um, <laughs> what's, you know, as a trailblazer in the wrestling industry, what's some advice you could give to other women that are trying to find their own voice in the industry? That's a really good question. And something that I really focus on with, even speaking to my colleagues at AEW is, you have to believe in yourself first before anyone else can believe in, in you. Um, I think it takes, for me, my faith is something that's very important to keep me uh, with my feet on the ground and to remember a why I love this business and not to live by the expectations of what the fans think I should do or what um, or what others think I should do. If um, I'm happy with my character and where I want to be for that day and the storylines or just you know working in the wrestling industry, it has to be for me first and then everything else will fall into place. So it takes a very thick skin and you know I. I didn't think I could make it through WWE with all the crazy storylines that I went through and the food fights and the hog pin match. And I mean, you just keep going on and on, but um, I love the wrestling industry. It's my second family and uh, to be able to work in it as long as I have, it's something that I I don't take for granted. And I, I wake up every morning blessed that I have this job that's incredible and it's not your regular nine to five job. But, um, you know, it's, I love the people I work with now, and it's just been a, a, a wild and crazy and happy ride. So um, I just say that you just have to do it for yourself first, because if you don't have your own happiness and your own self-centered, then it's not going to work and be portrayed to the fans it's that you're enjoying yourself. 